Hello, my name is Omar Flores. I'm the Global Business Manager for 3M. I'm very excited to introduce you our new technology, the 3M Concealed Film. Uh, over the past few years, we have been making research about the trends uh, in the wireless industry, and we find out that one of the major roadblocks for the industry to deploy is related to site acquisition. So we, do, we did further uh, analysis and we learned that uh, the main reason for this challenge is related to NIMBY. NIMBY stands for not in my backyard and this is an interesting phenomena where we all as users would like to have service on our cell phones. Unfortunately, no one wants to have all the infrastructure related to providing that service. So we went ahead and we developed this wonderful technology that allows that infrastructure to blend with the environment, hence reducing the visual pollution. We have used several 3M technologies that when they are combined, uh, the result is a magic technology that we call 3M Conceal Film. I would like to welcome Paul LeBlanc. He's the scientist behind the development of this wonderful technology. Paul. Thank you, Omar. I would like to tell you about some of the technologies that 3M made use of to bring this film to market. As you can see behind me, 3M has its own version of the periodic chart, and these are a compilation of technologies that 3M is very strong at. And in order to bring this film to market, we actually employed six different technologies to make it happen. These included our expertise in films, adhesives, microapplication, and light management, just to name a few. Now to boil all that down into a product, we ended up with the film that is shown here. And this film basically has three main parts. It has a sort of a reflective mirror surface. On top of that is a protective layer that protects the film during its installation. And then the bottom layer is an adhesive that allows you to easily apply this to an antenna or other object very easily with 3M technology and expertise in adhesive uh, films. We really hope that this technology allows the industry to deploy all the millions of base stations and all the millions of small cells required to provide coverage and capacity that is really needed to provide service to our smartphones.